All right, we're going to show you how and why we took this to this. Welcome back to Heirloom Permaculture. If you've been following along with our market garden install, you've seen that we're trying to get all the Bermuda grass and remaining wood chips kind of cleaned out of the soil so that uh, it's ready to plant in the spring. Uh, if you go back and watch our last video, you can see how time consuming that process is. Uh, we're gonna do our best to speed that up uh, using a little bit of power. And today we're gonna convert this old cement mixer into a compost sifter. All right, so one of our main goals for this project is to not buy anything. We're gonna to try to do this with things we already have around here uh, and just kind of make do, uh, get creative, whatever you wanna call it. So, because it's really, I mean, it's a project we're gonna use probably a lot in the future, um, but we're not gonna use it real often most likely, so it's not worth investing a whole lot of money for. So, this old uh, concrete cement mixer bought uh, from a neighbor when they were moving away uh, got a good deal on it, had the intention to actually use it uh, for its intended purposes at one point, but we never have, so we got it, we might as well use it for something. And then we also have the bottom out of some uh, rabbit cages that we used for the quail. And since we've taken the bottoms off the cages, we use those cages, we can put them in the garden, put a couple chickens in it, and let them kind of scratch and till around in very confined, controlled areas. Uh, you know, in, in walkways or between uh, trees or things like that where we don't want to give them wide open free range or we really want them to concentrate on a little spot. So we've got this. It's about a uh, half inch by one inch. It's a uh, heavy welded. Uh, it's a lot heavier than hardware cloth even, which is what we typically use for a compost sifter or soil sifter. But it'll hold up to being mounted on here and we're actually going to weld it on. So we're going to cut out some some parts of the sides of this, uh, weld on some uh, wire there and see if it works. So fingers crossed. So inside there are uh, bars attached from the back plate up to the side and they're agitators to pull everything back into the middle. Uh, we're going to leave those attached and have uh, strips running top to bottom uh, to keep the integrity of the whole thing. So we're coming off of the center of those bars where they're attached two inches on each side. That'll give us a four inch wide piece uh, for a frame and also to weld to. And I'm just running square off of this top lip. And then we'll probably leave two inches at the top and two inches at the bottom. It's the plan anyways, but I don't have a design, so we're just winging it. So here's our lines to cut. Actually two and a quarter from the bottom and then two inches from the top. And there's three of them we'll cut out. See here's the, the beater bars inside. So there'll be two inches remaining on each side of that bolt. It'll be a four inch wide frame coming top to bottom. About to be a lot more light in there.
score it one time and then it'll follow that cutting through. All right, now remember the rules. I uh, can't buy anything that we don't already have. And I'm down to my last cutoff wheel for the angle grinder. So I cut all the long runs, uh, but I need that last disc to cut the wire for on here. So we're gonna go ahead and drill out these corners and I'm gonna cut these shorter runs, the metal blade and the jigsaw. Otherwise I'd use the die grinder again, but I need that last cutoff wheel. Safety first. She don't believe that. Taking all the guts out. Ew. So 
One of three. Weld it in place. Just got some more to go. Thank you. Up to invisible grounds. Don't know when to step. Returning is not the way for me. All right, so we got two sides done. So I really was gonna let Angela do some of the welding or a lot of the welding, all the welding, something. Uh, but when I started on it, she saw, so the, the wire and the, the frame here are different gauges. Um, and it's a lot easier to burn through the wire than to burn through the frame. So you have to be real intentional with the welding to, to heat this up and go over and grab your, your wire and come back. And uh, she said she, because we don't have really any extra wire, she, Rather, I just did it so that uh, probably so I could take the blame if I mess up our only amount of supplies. Uh, but but uh, it probably was because she was worried that you know uh, you know struggle with it or something. And uh, and I, I won't lie, I've had a couple burn throughs, a few burn throughs myself. So I'm not a welder uh, by any means. Uh, I just need to stick together. So that's where we're at. We got two done. Got one more to go. And uh, maybe we can come up with some kind of something to put through here. Uh, it's been raining, it's dark outside, but uh, I want to try it out, so uh, I may have to send her out with a bucket to the compost pile or something to see if we can't run something through here. Alright, it's all done. Uh, I tried to get her to go out and get some compost or some dirt or something to run through it, but she said no, it's too cold, too wet. So you just have to come back for the next video where we're using this out in the market garden to see it in action. Uh, I am going to run it for you though, so you can see kind of how it works. So in principle, we'll load soil or compost or something in this end, right? It's tilted back so everything's gonna stay in it. It'll be running already. It's very loud, so I'm not gonna leave it running. Anyways, everything the can will sift through the uh, wire. All of the larger pieces will stay inside. You need to get those out. Just dump everything out. I think the only change I'm gonna make to it, we are gonna improve the wheels and everything so it's easier to move in soft ground. So we've gotta do that. Uh, probably put a coat of paint on it. Uh, and we may adjust it to where it sits a little closer to level not quite level, but closer so that the stuff spends more time on the screen and we do a better job of screening. I'm worried like this, everything's gonna go straight to the back too quick and just build up back there. So easy to make a little shim to hold it here. Uh, and then the wheels, uh, possibly something to direct all the siftings off to the side. So, but overall, pretty happy with the way it turned out and it looks like we expected I think this will speed up the process we can have this running all the time and a couple people on shovels and we'll work through sifting whatever it is we're working on uh, pretty quickly so we made it through without spending any money already had this about a long time ago uh, had the wire uh, we didn't run out of materials almost but we didn't so still couldn't talk her into welding it and I couldn't talk her into going and getting any uh, compost or soil so I'm over two on that but uh, appreciate y'all watching and uh, be sure and watch for the video where we put it into use and uh, you can see it in action. 
and we'll see you then. Bye.